Introduction to Cell or What is Cell in Biology. Before starting the lecture, click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of unique and simple lectures for free. Now let me teach you the easy concept of basic unit of matter. Well, consider water, salt and sugar. We know that water forms from H2O molecules, salt forms from NaCl and sugar forms from C6H12O6. Also, we know that there are two atoms present in the H2O molecule, hydrogen and oxygen. There are two atoms in NaCl, sodium and chlorine. There are three atoms in C6H12O6, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So we can say that atom forms water, atoms form salt and atoms form sugar. One can also say that different chemical combinations of atoms form different substances like water, salt and sugar. Therefore we say that atom is the smallest unit or basic unit of every matter and everything in the universe is made up of atoms. Now how atoms form substances? Well. When two or more than two atoms combine together chemically, they form a molecule. When many molecules like 10,000 or more molecules combine together, they form polymer like proteins, carbohydrates, lipids and nucleic acids. These polymers are also known as a macromolecules. Thus protein, carbohydrates, lipids and nucleic acid are polymers and they all are made up of atoms. Now aside from water, 70% of a cell's mass is composed of macromolecules like proteins, carbohydrates, lipids and nucleic acids. If I ask you what is making the cell, your answer is simple. Macromolecules like proteins, carbohydrates, lipids and nucleic acids are making the cell. Therefore, note it down that every single cell is composed of macromolecules. Let me repeat it. Every single cell is composed of macromolecules. Now, what is cell in the biology? Cell is the smallest unit of living organisms are live. For example, consider a building. We know that this building is formed from bricks or we say that brick is the smallest unit or basic unit of the building because bricks are making the building. Similarly, consider an animal like man and plant like tree. Both man and tree are formed by many cells. So cell is the smallest unit or basic unit of living thing like human beings or plants just like a brick. Therefore, always connect cell with bricks of a building because both are the basic units or smallest units. Now, how cells form living organisms? Well, cell either form a unicellular organism or multicellular organism. Uni means one. So, living thing made up of only one cell is called unicellular, for example, amoeba. While multi means many, so living things made up of many cells are called multicellular organism. For example, human beings. Now there are five levels involved in the formation of any organism. For example, consider a brick and a cell. When many bricks are joined together, they form a wall. Similarly, when many cells are joined together, they form a tissue like muscular tissues. When many walls are joined together, they form a room. Similarly, when many tissues are joined together, they form an organ like stomach. When many rooms are joined together, they form one portion. Similarly, when many organs are joined together, they form organ system like digestive system. When many portions are joined together, they form a building. Similarly, when many organ systems are joined together, they form organism like human beings. Thus remember that if you zoom in inside any living thing, you will see that they all are formed from cells. And we therefore say that cell is the basic unit of any life. Finally, let me ask you, when I was a student, I was thinking that why cells are the basic units of life? Why not atoms? To learn this question, watch our next lecture.